what's going down everybody welcome back to another episode of camping with coleman it is your boy josh aka coleman sorry it is super bright right now i know i've got uh i've got this light on me i don't even all right so there we go that's a little better oh it's actually warm it feels like the sun is right on me so you guys welcome back uh i'm in the studio and that's because i got something really cool i want to do for you guys I'm feeling bad for a lot of you because I know a lot of you guys are sitting at home right now bumming because you're not at Axial Fest 2016. I know how that is. I know how that is. I didn't start going to Axial Fest until last year and I had been told about it for like years and years. Yeah, I know how that goes. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some of my trucks. Um, I've told you guys in the past that I'm going to start doing these overview videos and show you because I get a lot of people asking all the time, will you please show me your truck? How did you build this? How did you do that? What is in this? Where is that? How? Did, what is that from? You know, just a lot of questions about them. So why not answer them? I'm going to give you guys that. I'll give you guys a nice detailed look at how I built some of these trucks. So first one up. Triple six, the show pig. All right, you guys, there she is, shining in all her glory. That is triple six, the show pig, the tow pig. That is my beast. I use it for uh, towing trailers and just kind of showing off in general. I ain't gonna lie, that thing is awesome. All right, so the first thing, obviously, that we're gonna wanna talk about here is this unreal body. It is just crazy looking. Uh, sorry guys, I'm blowing up today. I got my phones in here with me. But look at this body. Look at the work on it. I mean, you can see my reflection in it. Uh, the camera reflects in it. It's just insane. Alright, so what you're looking at here is a SSD Unlimited fiberglass Ford quad cab body with a modified and extended Tamiya bed that has been dropped. Um, and then I used SSD Unlimited uh, dually fenders, but not just one. I took two of them, chopped them, molded them together, and then did all the body work to make it line up. And uh, I did do all that myself. It is something I'm very proud of, and I think it looks pretty cool. While it's not perfect, it looks pretty dang cool, right? So uh, then what he did is after I was done with the body work, I took it over to a guy named Monty that used to have a shop here in town doing hydro dipping. Now, he took it, and I could be wrong on how he did this, but if I remember right, he uh, took it and primered it and everything, worked the body a little more, then he sprayed it down with a automotive uh, black, right? This is a uh, uh, gloss black, clearly. And then uh, what he did there was took these silver graphics, right, which I love, by the way, and he laid them out in hydro dipping form, right, and he hydro dipped this beast, and that's how he got these graphics on there, right? Then he came back again and hit it with the automotive clear several times. And that's why it shines like this. You get this crazy reflection off of it. And uh, I love it. It's an awesome looking rig. Now, as far as the interior goes, it's all custom built for me. Um, I'm not that proud of it. It's not the best. Sorry, you guys can see me there. Reflection. <laughs> I'm not. It's not the best interior ever. Um, basically, let me zoom in here and show you guys. The dash lights up, the guy moves, um, I built a lot of this stuff from scratch, uh, that part right there in the dash, whoop, this part right there, that lights up and tells me what my battery life is like. Um, it does have a little screen thing that's just modified and kind of glued up to the ceiling, with, or not glued, but uh, stuck with some uh, Velcro or whatever right up to the ceiling. It does turn on and does play pictures and stuff of RC cars. The stereo I'm proud of. That thing bumps. It actually hits pretty loud. Um, the floorboard I made by myself and the dash made by myself. Center console made by myself. The seats are out of other RC cars um, that I kind of chopped up and just snag parts from. Uh, made the mats in there myself, if that counts for anything. You know, it's not perfect by any means. Definitely not a Ford interior, but it kind of replicates a modified Ford interior, maybe a little bit. Stacks are Tamiya King Hauler stacks because I had them. They came with the, t the King Hauler. I bought them off a of buddy. This is a Proline um, uh, toolbox button to turn the stereo on and off. MP3 player, smoke box, and uh, yeah, that's all I got in there. And then. This headache rack I made from a Proline roof rack that I chopped all up and then just put a bunch of random accessories and things on there, right? 
Uh, this right here actually is a little homemade, you know, diesel fuel cell setup that I made here. And uh, just made it out of a bunch of scrap parts, as you can see. Wire and, um, you know, a little heat shrink and glue and plastic parts from axial stuff. Uh, just random things, man. I, I think that's a collar or something that I, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. But this, you know, on and off thing right here that I made just to make it look like you can turn it on and off. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Mia parts here in the back. Um, this is just scale accessories and stuff. This is uh, too small. I know you guys are probably already like, what the hell's with, you know, what's up with the tiny compressor. It's the only one I had, and so I figured, you know, it's just, a, it's a baby one. It's just for uh, airing up tires and stuff. Figure I'd just put that back there. <laughs> wheels and tires are uh, Hercules Hobbies wheels and tires. These are not from eBay or whatever. These are Hercules Hobbies, and you can pick these up at Asia Tees. They are awesome. They are an affordable wheel and tire combo and yeah very very stoked on these love them and i modified them a little bit in the back you can't tell but they're uh, kind of custom hubbed so they'll fit the wheel wells the way that i like right they definitely fill the wheel well up nicely there and then yeah the smoke stacks you know do work like i was saying here's the uh, custom tubing stuff that i made to go in, up into the stacks pretty cool the chassis is a king hauler chassis that has been uh, modified that it will do a little flexy flexy here. You can see the cab and the chassis, or the cab and the uh, bed kind of separate a little bit, you know, move a little bit differently. Just like a real Ford, right? Chassis flex. Um, pretty cool. I did that on purpose, but I didn't take the best approach to it. It's honestly pretty ghetto. I just chopped it in half and bolted a little plate to each side. Uh, however, it works really well. ESS1 sound unit, uh, 12 volt uh, battery thing that I got hidden there. It's just a little power pack that I can use to charge things. Uh, it's got a two speed, AX2 two speed from RC4 wheel drive. Um, just random plates and stuff bolted in because this is back before I was sponsored by Team K&K Hardware. So I just used random hardware I had laying around. You, a lot of you guys can probably relate to that. Uh, modified MIP CVD there. Um, Let's see, yeah, I think that's about it, honestly. And let's see, up here I've got the TLT1 axle, BRXL up there. Uh, I've got weight added wherever I can get it in. Um, that long rod you see in the center of the screen, that is actually a Wraith steering link that I use to shift my AX2 two-speed. The wiring is a nasty mess, not going to try to lie about that. And this is a very horrible example of wiring, however it does work. Um, yeah, still the original leaf spring setup off of the King Hauler, I did keep that. It's got an HPI gear reduction unit up front, which runs divorced to the AX22 speed, so there's no spur gear in there at all, uh, which helps me have the full interior. Um, what else? It's running a Trailmaster Sport 21 turn 550 can. And uh, yeah, that's about it, really. The thing is really powerful. Um, it goes plenty fast on 3S. However, I don't like to drive it fast. It's just not something I like to do. But it does go really fast on 3S. So uh, I keep it in first gear usually on you know 3S and just kind of put it around. And then, uh, yeah, I use this big old nine channel fly sky from back in the day right here and I'll probably switch off of this here pretty soon and go to a regular uh, four channel radio because I only use three channels just the shifter the steering and the throttle so yeah anyways you guys that's about it um, pretty cool little rig it uses a Savic servo for steering right now eventually that will get swapped out to a Holmes Hobbies uh, servo it also has a high-tech servo for the shifter and a high-tech servo for the steering up there because the guy moves and so yeah anyways that's about it um, I can't think of anything else on here really to talk about this right here I thought was a cool little touch just different outside of the box that's actually a magnetic cow RC mat so when you flip the tailgate down uh, you can put like a you know matchbox car on there and a little 3d printed radio and it looks like you're working on a RC car on the tailgate kinda cool but anyways, you guys, that is it for this one today, and uh, I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, please, you guys, if you enjoy my content at all, smash the like button, 
subscribe, share this stuff around your social media, help me get the word out. I've been working really hard trying to blow this channel up, and any help I can get spreading the word, I will greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much. Um, have a good day, and I'll see you guys here in a day or two with the next episode. We'll go over another trip. Yay, peace and chicken grease. <laughs>